What is up guys? Me again. Today I'm going to talk about The Super Friends. With the upcoming movie of The Justice League, I decided to go back where it all began. The Super Friends. This was how I was, how I was introduced to the DC, DC Comics. Like, when I was a kid, I loved the Super Friends. And years later, when I heard they were making a Justice League, and I heard and I heard history that the Super Friends were based off the Justice League, I was looking forward to that too. And it was pretty amazing. The Justice League show was pretty amazing. And I've been waiting years and years for this Justice League movie to come out. And lo and behold, I'm gonna play. I end up seeing it this weekend. And it looks pretty. It looks like it's gonna be good. But, getting off topic, we're here to talk about the Super Friends, and their history. When the Super Friends started, they, they usually consist of, well, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Robin. Well, their usual, well, lineup. In the original show, they had these three kids, and their dog, who we never, who were never in the comics, just strictly made for the show for the younger viewers. Well, it's a show made for kids, what are you going to do? They had to relate to kids somehow. Anyway, anyway, their their names I think are Wendy, Marvin, and Wonder Dog, or as I like to call them, Daphne 2.0, Shaggy 2.0, and Scooby Doo 2.0. Yeah, they were just catching Scooby Doo, but they there, but there are but the but the creators guess the creators decided to replace them with someone that's more capable of fighting crime, like, well, the Wonder Twins. Yep, this is where it first appeared. Wonderland powers activate! Set Jen and Santa has the powers to shift into animals and water. Well, forms of water. I mean, gas, liquids, something like that. Oh, and they got a pet little monkey psyche named Gleek. Yeah. Next, next we have the challenge of the Super Friends. It's years later. Era that consists of the Super Friends face off their arch enemies, the Legion of Doom, which... I think it's my favorite group of supervillains of all time. Yeah, and I definitely want to see more of them in me other medias. And and also, also they decided to appeal to more universal char characteristics and out there. Like they made a Pachi chief for the Indians, Black Vulcan for the African Americans. Samurai for the Japanese, and El Dorado for the Hispanic people, which I totally get. While well, Punchy powers have have a grow the size of a mountain, um, which you don't want. And Black Lightning has lightning powers. Strange that the DC comics already have uh, uh, African American with lightning power, electricity powers. Black Lightning. Samurai has tornado powers, and. And El Dorado has illusion powers. That kind of thing. Well, okay, that's kind of cool. But yeah. Later, they decided to replace Aquaman with Firestorm. Um, but a Storm and Legend of Super Friends. And it's where they defeat. Where, where in that series, they, they take on the most DC's most powerful supervillain, Darkseid. And, and now we get to talk about the best out of all of them the Super Power Show. Now, this one's my favorite of the bunch. In fact, I think I'm going to dedicate an entire video to that. Yeah. So. In my next video, I'll talk about that. Until then, see ya!